Hey, welcome to the Sunday preview for this week. And we have a great reading from the Gospel of Matthew about Peter walking on the water. And it goes like this. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side where he dis- dis- dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said. And they cried out in fear. And at once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. When he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Now, we love this story. Maybe we've read it uh, 500 times. Peter walking on the water. and he, You know, we don't think too much about the fact that he was the only, the only one of those disciples who had the guts to get up out of the boat and walk toward Jesus. We usually blame him for not having enough faith, but he at least had that love of Jesus and trust in Jesus that he would dare to do it. What possessed him to do it in the first place, who knows, but uh, he was trusting in Jesus. But this whole story is like a metaphor for our lives. Yeah, we've got that basic trust in Jesus and we want to follow him. But then we see the winds and the wave and they force us to take our eyes off Jesus and we sink. And Jesus says, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? He says, do not be afraid over and over and over again. That's the message of the gospel. Do not be afraid. You know, Peter should have trusted more and we should trust more because, you know, Jesus had just fed the huge crowds. Uh, The gospel opens with that, that he dismissed the crowds after he had fed them all with the multiplication of the loaves. And that was a sign that he had the power to do anything and that we need not worry, but only trust. He's the Lord of the heaven and the earth and there's nothing we need to be anxious about. But this whole episode, too, leads the whole group of them to understand that, that in him is all the power. And if we just trust in him, we'll be okay. It's good for us to reflect this Sunday on the kind of trust or lack of trust we have. Do we really believe that Jesus is Lord and God, that in him all the power in the universe resides? that there's nothing that can happen to us as long as we trust in him. Do we have that kind of faith and confidence? You know, if we don't, maybe we have to do just what Jesus did. Go back up on that mountain and spend time in prayer. Ask for that gift of total trust.